picture the scenario. It's an invented scenario, but bear with me if you wouldn't mind. So, David Sullivan sat at home, big home, but he sat at home. Jack on one side, uh, David uh, Jr. on the other, uh, maybe Mrs. Sullivan uh, just there as well. They sat down, a bit bored, and he says, uh, tell you what, watch this. Watch the West Ham fans go. Watch what I'm going to do now. And David Sullivan picks up the phone. Phones up Jim White. Says, hello, Jim. I've got a little story for you, mate. And Jim White loves an exclusive, does Jim White. So he's saying, oh, yeah, come on, give it to us. Me and Simon could do with getting our teeth into something. So he says, OK, not only is David Moyes safe for this season, irrespective of how badly he does, even if he takes us down, we're going to retain him for next season as well. He can take us down. He still won't get sacked. You know what? Because he's the man for the job. There's no one better. Jim White says, oh, well, thanks. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. I'm, I'm going to run with that. Jim White goes and puts it on the radio. Uh, David Sullivan hangs up the phone and says, ah, there we go. Watch what happens now. Watch those West Ham fans get triggered. And, and I have to say, whilst it didn't quite unfold just like that, when Gio phoned me up and told me what had been said by Jim White, the first thing I said was, so wind up. I actually started laughing. I asked him, I started laughing at Gio down the phone and said, it's a wind up. It's a wind up. It's, it's a wind up. It's, it's clearly a wind up. I didn't disbelieve Gio's recounting of the story. And by the time I'd uh, popped onto our, um, our Patreon addicts chat on WhatsApp, a lot of people have been sharing the screenshot and, and all, all the rest of it. I knew it to be true. So it's a wind up. It's an absolute wind up from David Sullivan. He knows full well that the fans are going into meltdown. I, I think he'd probably enjoy it. And, and for once, for once, I laughed and I saw it for what it was. It's utter nonsense. Because, let's be honest with you, he must have told him. He's told Jim White. So you've got to ask the question, does he believe it? Does David Sullivan believe it? No. I don't think so. I'm not even sure David Sullivan's going to be in char charge of the club next season. There's no body of evidence to suggest that David Moyes is the man to take West Ham up from the championship, to take anyone up from the championship. Last time he did it was at Preston years ago. Was it? It might have been 20 years ago. Should have checked. Haven't done it. Got to be honest with you. That's it. That that's that's all he's done. Um, you know, I think he had a promotion with Preston. That's it. Um, and I, 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 the details of that, I just don't know. If you're what you're looking, he's not Neil Warnock, okay? Neil Warnock, I think, has got lots and lots of promotions on his CV. I'm not saying I want Neil Warnock, by the way, but I'm just saying, if you were going to look for somebody that had numerous promotions, you'd sort of go with him. In fact, I'd probably suggest Rafa Benitez, not I want him either, is probably a bit of a better shout because he did it with Newcastle, didn't he? You know, relatively recently, took a sort of a big um, a big club in the championship, which probably, you know, was big enough to be in the Premier League, and he took him up there. There are a lot of managers before David Boy, so he, well, I hope, that David Sullivan knows this. There's no, there's no criteria. I sort of get, I get the argument that there's no one better than David Moyes to keep West Ham in the Premier League. I disagree with it. I think when you scratch beneath the surface, um, I, I don't think it stands up to scrutiny. But I understand why people say it because he saved West Ham from relegation twice. I think once you add nuance in there, it, it sort of muddies the argument. But that I get. The argument that he's the best man to get a club up from the championship, eh, eh, no, no way. No way. There's no evidence at all. So David Moyes, uh, sorry, David Sullivan must have told Jim White because if he didn't, and let's suppose for a second he didn't and Jim White had made it up, then at the point where David Sullivan hears about it, David Sullivan would be on the phone to Jim White and saying, Jim, what are you doing? You've, you've completely stitched me up here. The fans are going mad and the fans were going mad. So the fans are going mad. That's what he would have said. Take retract this statement now. Do it immediately. We know that David Sullivan is capable of doing this. We, we've had it before. If anybody remembers the um, the debacle on the Sunday supplement where there was um, retracted statements and whatnot, uh, we, we've seen it before. He will, if Sullivan thinks he's been misquoted, he will fight his corner. Um, at the very least, even if he has a friendly relationship with Jim White, Jim White would have been told politely, mate, you know, you want to backtrack on that. Um, and Jim White would have come on the radio and said, well, actually, it's disgusting, isn't it? But Jim White would have uh, would have announced on the radio, he would have said, uh, you know, I, I got it wrong. I've got it wrong. I, he will say, I've, I've had an updated 
um, statement uh, from the chairman of West Ham United, and uh, it, it would appear that that anyway, whatever, all that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? There, there is one reason for David Sullivan doing it, I guess, because I don't believe it to be true. But so why, why would? Well, I can only think of two reasons why he would lie, because I think it's a lie. Number one, I've I've already mentioned to rile up the fan base. Number two would be just to almost double prove to David Moyes that he's his man. Um, and and I, I sort of, you know what, that I sort of understand. Because I, I do understand if if what you're going to do is you're going to back the manager and you really want him to beat Aston Villa. And, and I'm, I'm sure he does. I'm sure David Sullivan wants West Ham to beat Aston Villa. I'm sure David Moyes wants West Ham to beat Aston Villa. Then you don't want any sort of doubt in his mind. So what you're probably saying are you putting it out into public domain and you're saying, I back Moisey. For now, in the past, present and future, it's like a marriage vow, isn't it? I back Moisey. That's what he's saying. I, I, I guess there's no real value in saying I back Moisey for this one game against Aston Villa. Oh, but if he mucks up after that, then he's then he's in a lot of trouble. That that's just going to make him more nervous. Doesn't make him feel uh, particularly um, uh, particularly wanted and particularly confident. So I, I understand that. However, there's another really detrimental impact to him releasing this statement, and it's not just. I mean, as I say, I don't think he, I don't think he cares. If he winds up the fans, or if the found fans are wound up, I, I don't think he cares. I mean, he's already seen the worst of it with the Burnley protests. It, it won't get any worse than that. And I think I'm not saying I say worse happened at at Birmingham. In fact, I think it did. I think it did. If you listen to some interviews about stuff that happened with people trying to climb up to the director's box, I think it happened at Birmingham or something similar. There were some threats. I mean, it says an awful lot that it's happened at two different clubs, I've got to say. Um, however, I don't. I certainly don't condone anyone sort of threatening anybody. I don't think that's a, that's a good move at all. But, I don't, you know, I think what you got was a lot of protests against Burnley, that, that's for sure. But so I don't think he cares, though. I don't think he cares how riled up the fans are. The messaging it sends to the players, I don't think it's very good at all. Because we've already had it leaked this week that the players are unhappy with the defensive tactics of David Moyes. If what you want to do is... So let's just assume that that's right. Even if we say that they're, they're not all annoyed with it. Let's say half of the squad are annoyed with David Moyes' tactics and position at the club. By telling them that actually not only is he staying around for the rest of this season, do you know what? He's going to be here for next season. Whether we're what, Regardless of what division we are in, David Moyes is here. If I was a player who didn't like David Moyes' tactics, I probably would be thinking, I'll oh, we'll ride this out until the end of the season and see what happens. If I thought that I probably wasn't going to get a chance, and you can all think of various players in the squad who probably don't get a fair crack at a whip or don't are not fairly utilised by David Moyes. If I'll give you two now. I'll give you two now. And I don't want to speak on their behalf, but I'm, I'll just put it out there. You know, they may think differently. I'll give you Flynn Downs and I will give you Sai Ben Rama as two examples there. Um, maybe, just maybe, when they hear this, regardless of what division they're in, they're on the phone to their agent saying, I've, I've had enough. Get There's a lot of that. There's a lot of phone calls um, in this video. They're on the phone to their agent saying, you know, that just get me out of here. I'm not doing another season of this. Um, it wouldn't be the first foolish thing that, that David Sullivan's done in terms of putting something out there, but I, I was... I did laugh. I laughed when it was put in there because I thought it was a wind up and it didn't it didn't wind me up at all, which is exactly why when I spoke to Joe about it and he said, Oh, you know, um we we we'll schedule our videos and stuff like that. So don't worry about it. I'll I'll i I'll, I'll schedule it for whatever Saturday morning. Uh, something like that. It's it's fine. Not too bothered about it at all, really. Uh, but I I do find it odd that having released it out there, he didn't look at it and think, Oh, that might be a bit that might be a bit um, a bit cataclysmic for all concerns, you know, aside from David Moyes. So by reassuring David Moyes, he's probably uh, irritated everybody else. And I'm not sure. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't backpedal uh, just a little bit. Uh, because let's be fair, it sounds horrendous, doesn't it? I mean, it does sound horrendous. If we got relegated, how, how would you reward that failure? Well, we'll reward that failure by allowing him... To continue, and I've got to say, you know, just to just to carry on um, with it, it's almost the worst thing you could do because you go down the championship, you're going to need some youngsters, you're going to need a big squad, and some of those young academy players are going to need to be used. He's spent the last twelve months getting rid of them. I mean, you know, that's, that's absolutely crazy, really. And and I think you'd probably find as well that that you would hear excuses for for why that he couldn't he couldn't use them you'd probably be saying, well, you know, they're not quite ready for the championship. I bet you'd hear that. I bet you'd hear him say, oh, with championships, tough league, need experienced players for the championship and game. Any more youngsters or, or anything like that. Um, 
I think it just would be a, a horrendous idea, actually, to have a guy in the championship with no track record of getting out of the championship. He doesn't particularly like to promote youth and who's just been doing absolute... By that time, if we were to go down, he'd been have a terrible run of form for the last 18 months. Terrible idea, and it's so bad, I can't even believe he's considering it. Look, hopefully it doesn't happen. I'm, you know, really. Hopefully, uh, we stay up. Hopefully, look, hopefully we beat Aston Villa tomorrow. That'd be the uh, that'd be the first step, wouldn't it? And then um, we'd, we'd have to worry about that. I'd much rather, as much as um, I would like David Moyes to to be replaced, I would much rather at the end of this season be discussing whether David Moyes is the man to take us forwards for another season in the Premier League than I would be sat here worrying that David Moyes is going to try and lead us out of the Championship.